most visitors come away with kind of a bit of wilderness in an area where there's a lot of city amenities, but they also like the setting of the remoteness. I think the park is a little bit of a wilderness oasis. Lake Bemidji State Park is located on the northeast shore of Lake Bemidji, about seven miles from the town of Bemidji, which is the first city on the Mississippi River. The park started in 1923 as only 300 acres and has grown to over 1,700 acres. The lake would be the most noticed feature and most used. Virtually all the people that come to the park spend some time down by the lake, maybe swimming or boating, fishing. There's really two good beaches on Lake Bemidji and the park has the nicest one. It is a shallow beach, so there is good swimming on Lake Bemidji. We've got a nice boat access where people can put their boat in in a protected marina. Probably the most popular lake activity is fishing. Camping is a very popular activity that people do. Many times people arrange to meet other camping groups here so that it's a social camp. Also biking. Paul Bunyan State Trail is a paved trail that stretches from Lake Bemidji State Park all the way down to Crow Wing State Park south of Brainerd. And it's been a very popular trail in the central part of Minnesota. The park has about 12 miles of hiking trail. Most of them are earthen. The boardwalk is one of the more attractive features in the park. That's our premier trail. Along the boardwalk are some things we'll take a look at, and at the end, Big Bog Lake. The boardwalk is a unique opportunity for people to get out into a bog. The challenge of traveling in a bog is that the moss is very soft and there's quite a bit of water underneath, so you break through if you were to try and just walk through the bog. This is a real good time of the year because the bog is in bloom. The showy lady slipper is pretty close to its peak. We also have another orchid called grass pink. We have a couple plants that are carnivorous. Up here on the right is the leaf flower sundew. With its sticky little tentacles, captures an insect and holds it on the leaf. Enzymes are secreted and the insect is digested. This is the leaf of pitcher plant, which captures rainwater, but then attracts an insect by the red lines to go down into the leaf where it eventually drowns and then is digested. Okay, we've reached the end of the boardwalk, and we're at Big Bog Lake as we refer to it. It's actually a very shallow pond. Well, if you head this way, we're gonna go to the overlook on Rocky Point Trail. Probably the most prominent view is up on Rocky Point, which overlooks the lake. It's a very popular spot for people to come and see the whole lake. Across the lake, we're seeing the city of Bemidji. The local legend has it that if you look carefully, this is Paul Bunyan's foot, his heel, and his big toe. They say many of the lakes are a result of Paul and Babe walking through the soft swamps of northern Minnesota. Sunsets are real pretty because it sets right to the west of Rocky Point. I guess the telling thing for me is that I've enjoyed the park for 31 years as the naturalist and I still find stuff that's intriguing to me 